So spatial compression is pretty much, uh, in summary, there's a lot more to it, but it's pretty much looking at the overall picture of your frame instead of just each pixel individually. The next thing they came up with was something called temporal compression. And what this pretty much does is look at each frame and it says, all right, we don't really need to make a bunch of keyframes for the frames that, for the pixels that aren't changing. So we're just gonna make new keyframes for the pixels that are changing. For example, if uh, this video you're watching right now had temporal, compre temporal compression on it, and my arm was moving like this, it would only make a new keyframe for the pixels that my arm is. And all of this background, it wouldn't change things. So there would be only one keyframe for this background, but it would make new keyframes for that. And as you can see, this was a way to make the file size a lot smaller by only changing the parts of the video that moved. So um, most of the time, you don't really have to pick spatial compression or temporal, temporal compression. Uh, whenever you are editing video, your video program it automatically applies a preset according to whatever your project settings are. And it uh, automatically usually gives you a codec. And what a codec is, I know you guys probably hear this a lot, Codec stands for compression and decompression, and it's a way of automatically uh, compressing your video. And your camcorder, before it um, loads the video on your computer, like uh, DV uh, camcorders, they automatically compress your video at a rate of 20%, uh, I think. So whatever the uncompressed video is on your camcorder, by the time it gets to your computer, it's already 20% of the file size, which is uh, very good, actually. And uh, besides your camcorder um, automatically compressing video, you can actually compress video whenever you're exporting your video onto the web or DVD. So um, those are pretty much the basics of compression. There's a lot of different programs you can use to compress your video, but I just wanted to cover what spatial compression and temporal compression was, just to answer your guys' question. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I know it was kind of confusing, but... Uh, Try to figure it out anyways, and uh, you can learn more by researching on the internet and stuff. But anyways, it's all time I have for now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.